architecture is preserved because brick and mortar is hard to demolish. But by and large, interior design, decor, doesn't stand the test of time. I spent two decades in design, looking for the answers to what makes a timeless design. I'm a believer that if the interior personifies you, and so much effort has gone into creating it, it should be at least timeless to a certain degree. Growing up here, I used to cycle around a lot, and I used to explore. That was um, my little adventures as a child. And it is just beautiful, since the colonial days, how homes have been created. These houses are plotted within a rainforest. So everything's very natural, nothing is too manicured or contrived. The general journey of a home starts with an overview as you enter. And that gives you a taste of what the flavour of the decor of the house is. So the dilemma I had was how to sort of marry the old world designs, which I feel that most good designs are entrenched in tradition. That's how they become timeless. But yet we live in a more modern world and we sort of appreciate clean lines as well. And therefore, the task was to marry the two together under one roof. Trying to bring back the old world charm, that was a great adventure in itself. Found myself in markets in Paris, sourcing for artifacts, and came back with a little treasure trove of propellers from World War I and II. The home should personify the master in his absence. A person should come in to a house, not meeting the owner, but feeling what this person is. Sliding that, we're all open to the outside, and that's great for ventilation. You're basically getting a lot of interaction with the garden, or the herb garden, and also the sun, and that is just marvellous.
naturally, as you go deeper into the house, it gets more personal. In this house, you will end up at the top of the building in a little secret man cave hidden from everything else that's happening. That is for sure the coziest spot where you want to escape from the world. This place is exceptional for little intimate parties. We have a setting of a library in the background. As a passion of restore old cars, and after the car is restored, finds its place here at this window. I am trying to create homes that can last. And that's why, you know, bringing things from the past substantiates it. It's not fashion, it's not a trend. It is well-grounded.